There was someone murdering young boys in the 80s and early 90s in Cape Town. Um, modus operandi was the same, it seems, in all cases. He would meet young boys between the ages of 8 and 14 at a railway station and he'd ask them to do something. Carry a box for me and I'll give you five rand. Um, and then he would murder them, rape them, uh, tie their hands up, mutilate them and push their heads into the sand. Um, 22 of them, I mean over an eight year period. So they searched for him for ages and ages and finally they found this bloke, Afsal Norman Simons, who was a primary school teacher. And they originally thought he was responsible for all of these cases, but then they dropped the charge to only one murder. Um, of a young boy. I've defended many people, many guilty people. 99% of my clients are guilty. Maybe 1% of them are uh, innocent. And they are the, 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 the worst type to, to, to represent. Because there's so much at stake. If mistakes like this can happen, it's a hell of a burden. Advocate Mike Stowe, good morning. Thank you for calling us. Uh, lead prosecutor in the station strangler case. Yeah, good morning to you, Kino. Um, we start off the case with the um, investigating officer telling us that we've got the wrong guy. It was a very, very tough case. Um, we had a confession. We had a confession he made, but there was even doubt about that. I met the child in a game shop. I molested him at the station and I also killed him. I can't remember if I left the body at the station or near the station. I only want to say that it was very gruesome and it touched me terribly. Why confess? If you didn't do it, why confess? Um, I promise you, with murder and robbery, Belleville, you just have to know their reputation. You walk in there, and they don't have to do much. It's just a little show that they put up and you crap yourself. You will sign and say anything just to get the, out of there alive because they make you believe that you're going to die in there. There's a transcript of his interrogation which is quite harrowing to look through. It's got immortal lines like, Kay can you call a Nelson? Which I'm never sure whether that was the colonel but mm. not, or whether that was the guy making the observations. Thank you. There's a time when Johan left the gun here and said, Bewees jou agins and bewees ons agins and skit yourself frank. And I can't forget it, but it's the beginning. And it's the beginning to clap, but the way it's the beginning to clap, it's the beginning to clap. And the same answer for me, as I'm going to talk about the truth, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to see the stream and the anger. I can remember what happened that day as well because it was a party on top. Because I found the so-called strangle. And um Khasa Tami de la Gavera, um the Gavera got cock. the the village was it with the London for for what came and I put it was air, whatever it was. And caught it meant saying, first of all, because it then got cock, you don't Gespeel very good, basically. Um, and vraag and vraag and geskree and gevloek and whatever. Um, and to sell them, I make my eye trick. Um, and my kleren daan in tegen my spel kleren. Now, why do you need, you don't need fear. Because you don't want to, because then you're influencing them. You don't want to influence them. You want him to confess his guilt because it's the right thing to do, not because he's scared of you. And I know the murder and robbery had at that stage a reputation that all their cases were run on confessions and there was always allegations. I, however, was not involved and never saw things like it. He couldn't have killed 
the child on the station in peak uh, traffic and then carry his body for how many kilometers over the sh his shoulder or I don't know how they thought he would have ended up where he did. Didn't make any sense at all. She drew up an identikit for the police, and if you recall well, yes. uh, there was this identikit of the station stranger in the newspapers with um, with um, a large wig or large afro. Yeah. As 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 fate happened on that particular day, on that particular day, Simons went off to join the reserve police, and we in, in our possession we had a photograph on that particular day, day taken of Simons with a short back and sight. Uh, there, there was there was no ways you yeah. could match the two. According to her evidence, she only had a profile view of the so-called attacker. Now, how in God's name can you compile an identikit of a full frontal of somebody? Simons was at a library in Claremont at half past two, half past uh, yeah two thirty. It was just about impossible for him to have got from Claremont to the station in Strand by four o'clock. Does your gut tell you that Simons actually did it? Um, that we, we went, we went um, asked to make such a choice. As I said, I still believe that the right guy was sent to prison. You know, Mike Stowe thought he could go to court, the court will acquit him, and everybody will uh, just go home in peace. Um, and then things went wrong. But I could never have imagined that so many uh, holes in the state's case, and so many weaknesses would just be overlooked.